we have Mr. Varun Gaur, a sustainability enthusiast and an eco entrepreneur with passion. He is responsible for ensuring that organizations set and meet environmental goals. Mr. Varun has an interesting uh, venture and is a founder of D Calorie Energy. And he has an experience in environmental analysis of buildings and related technical studies. Mr. Varun, welcome to the show. Please explain the connection between the three P's, people, profit and planet. When it comes to energy efficiency, resource conservation, recycling, transportation, and of course, your own passion, building design. What does your startup G Calorie Energy do? Thank you so much, first of all, Manjunath Ji, for this warm introduction and giving me this opportunity to be here. And I'm very glad to be here with you. Uh, first of all, uh, as you said, based on my experience, if I talk about, uh, we are working in uh, green buildings and for the sustainable development. And uh, earlier, I was in the super critical thermal power plant, and I was all, always looking to get my practical knowledge. Uh, in a more useful manner so can we can do a little bit to maintain this environment and this beautiful nature so I explore with many ideas and uh, after experience and exploring around years dream comes true as D Calorie Energy Consultant and we uh, you know the field of sustainability is so wide and uh, we at D Calorie are providing uh, you know number of services uh, related to sustainability and we are working to elevate the role of green buildings beyond the environment and economy and focus on the personal health and well-being benefits. Yes, we are leading the efforts to create a sustainability version of the companies encompassing people, profit and planet as you said and our mission is very clear to ensure that client building is designed, built and operated in the most environmentally sustainable way. So this 3P clearly states that we need to take care of the environment concerns along with the economic development to ensure sustainability and enhanced quality of life. Oh yeah, that's uh, very interesting. Uh, how do you reflect on your experience when it comes to green buildings and environmental conservation, including the response from the public in India? You know, convincing the client, the developer, that green buildings were actually a better choice is a major challenge because uh, there is a thought uh, for the green buildings are very expensive and you know the claims and additional cost of 10 to 15 percent. But I must want to add that as per our analytical proof, that operational cost ensures uh, you know the payback within a conventional approach mindset. So uh, now the people are uh, you know more aware uh, for the green buildings and they are going for the sustainable development as per the climate uh, changes and uh, environmental degradations and the government is also supporting and encouraging a lot as uh, um, for being a green building consultant we always used to do a uh, lot of training sessions with the clients and uh, we, we actually want to work uh, you know on the ground to educate the uh, you know educate the uh, project team so that they can also actually got an idea that what actually they are doing and how the consultant is helping them so a number of government schemes have significant potentials you know to initial the boost as the government is the state governments are giving extra FARs to the you know developer to earn a greater profit and uh, government PSU's building and center government is going for the three star ratings and big corporate companies as we talk about the companies now the big corporate companies like Tata, Reliance, Mahindra, ITC, there are a lot of companies that are going for the carbon neutral pledge that they are not uh, you know uh, they are not doing the work in a way that will harm the environment now they are you know they took the carbon neutral pledge and India is currently the fourth largest market in the world for green buildings and you know touching every building sector so it's a huge market and currently the stock of green building in India is only 5% of the total buildings that so the that it will show the you know massive market uh, potential and uh, how well do you think technology has supported the construction of green buildings especially the uh, the whole uh, technologies uh, the sdgs are based on uh, the icts information communication technology so how do you think technology will help uh, in terms of uh, you know going about uh, green buildings so yeah definitely because the technology is very important and it is working parallelly with the green buildings you know uh, the green building features that we are adding upon with the, the lot of uh, innovations and you know day by day the fabulous ideas are converted into the technologies and um, getting a lot of help in the green buildings and uh, uh, they are one of the uh, I must you know add few of the green building features like cool roofs so cool roofs are designed to offer the increased solar reflectance and decrease the thermal emittance uh, if I talk about the cool roof improves the interior temperature of a building and either by reflecting intense heat or by trapping the air inside 
and using the recycled products the pipe aerial solar panels the solar industry is working you know a broad uh, great in a way that uh, the, there are a number of technologies are coming for the renewable energy solar there are pipe aerial solar you can generate solar power from both the sides so the technologies you know day by day we are getting new technologies in green building and as i told you earlier the thoughts that uh, you know it will uh, raise the cost so no the number of technologies coming this way and there are a lot of uh, big market in the green building going so the cost is also very reasonable coming this way so what are the new strategies that does uh, decalorie energy bring in uh, especially post pandemic i'm not forgetting the fact that we are still uh, through it the pandemic is not at over the lockdown threw a lot of light in the direction of work spaces and living spaces when it comes to automating them to be a decal we uh, we have a lot of plan uh, we are working uh, with the you know lot of uh, building owner and uh, uh, i do have a meeting with uh, indian railways uh, last week so indian railways uh, you know very much interested in going for the sustainability uh, they are doing the water audits for all the railway stations as well as the ngt uh, and you sign with the rail indian railways mes is going for the clean rating airport authority is going for the green rating we had a meeting with them also so 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 the, you know the after this pandemic you know the, the sustainability market moved up and now the people are really thinking about to you know uh, go for the sustainability for the you know for living a building which have good daylight they have ventilation they have fresh water and everything is there so for 20 foot many of these buildings you know we were not unprepared and after that now so the people are shifting towards this uh, green building and we adopted to provide a sustainable and healthy environment and uh, i'm happy to announce uh, the collaboration between decal energy and smart sustain and uh, we're coming together for bringing all the sustainable solutions the vast experience of uh, you mr arun varun uh, and uh, your venture decal energy will bring in a lot of value to us as well as the industry at various levels we are, we are so glad and we really appreciate the way that you just you know joining hand with us and because you are also working in the same field for the sustainability and you are the only uh, media partner for the sustainability i came to know and this is a great work that you are doing and we are very happy and pleased to shake hand with you and have a collaboration with you thanks uh, varun for speaking to smart sustain and we look forward to working with you thank you very much